responsibility and a privilege to serve our community, one that we've embraced for more than 60 years. Channel 5 is now alive. From the time we signed on until now, we've been the leading source of news. To follow breaking news. Oh. Information. Is finally here. Boeing workers voted not to join a union. So we could see some tidal flooding. And entertainment. On every platform, digital, social, and app. In every time period, every day. Serving our community is our number one priority, even when it's dangerous and deadly. See water in places that you never seen it before here in Charleston. Hurricane Matthew barreled up the coast towards South Carolina in October. Live 5 News had the most live crews in the most places, showing the storm's progression and keeping the community safe. Pulling off 24 hours of continuous live coverage took the efforts of our entire staff. From sales to marketing to news. Just a month later, we were in the middle of two major trials that both made national news. Michael Slager, the cop who shot a man multiple times in the back as he ran from a traffic stop. And Dylan Roof, who gunned down nine people during Bible study at an historically black church. Live 5 dedicated more resources to covering these trials than any other station in the market or beyond. We covered each trial with a field anchor, at least two reporters, a field producer, and a digital producer slash blogger. We also had two different expert legal analysts on standby for major developments. Behind the scenes, we had to prepare for the possibility of violence or protests. We also brought in a chaplain for our staff to talk to as needed. Our reporters and anchors who sat in the courtroom for the Roof murder trial saw crime scene photos that were too graphic to be released. They heard survivors describing living through the shooting. And those are images they'll have to live with forever. Last July, we began what is to be an annual book drive in honor of one of the victims. Over 4,000 books were collected in the name of Cynthia Hurd. We hope these efforts will continue her legacy as an advocate for childhood literacy. June 18, 2017 marked the 10th anniversary of the Sofa Superstore tragedy. We will never forget, just like 9-11, we will never forget. 10 years ago, we made a promise to never forget. The loss of nine firefighters in a single fire forever changed the community. It also led to changes in firefighting procedures aimed at preventing an event like it from ever occurring again. Live 5 put together a half-hour presentation honoring these heroes and profiling the families still dealing with the loss 10 years later. It was also a year of celebration. Anchors Debbie Chard and Bill Sharp have worked side by side for more than 41 years. And this year, we're awarded the South Carolina Broadcast Association's Award of Distinction together. Live 5 also got two Emmy nominations and one Emmy win. And we were also a runner up for the Star Award Station of the Year. We're also excited that City Paper readers chose Live 5 as their favorite station and Harv Jacobs as best investigative reporter. How safe are your children on local school buses? The county should make sure that these children are safe. After a fatal Tennessee crash shocked and horrified the nation, Live 5 investigates school bus safety, digging through hundreds of accident reports to find out how often they're happening in the low country and who's at fault. It has you know, our community's future leaders on it. Live 5 News investigates school bus safety, Tuesday at 11. Your lifeline in an emergency. So why is it taking 911 twice as long to answer your call? Live 5 Debbie Chard investigates why local dispatch centers are shorthanded and how it's taking longer to handle your emergencies. No matter what we do on the training piece, it really never prepares them for what they see. How this shortage is costing you money and what dispatch centers say they need to keep you safe. Live 5 News investigates 911 delay Friday at 11. This has also been a big year for South Carolina sports and Live 5 covered it like no one else could. Live 5, keeping you entertained, keeping you informed, keeping you safe, just like we always have.
Live 5 is proud to be the Low Country's number one station. Then, now, always. The Low Country's news, weather, and entertainment leader is Live 5.